Hi, I'm back. This is part two of how to add audio to your blog. And this is the exciting part. You notice before we talked about going to edit the recording in Baby Boomer Audio, and we, I gave it a name intro to video. And the reason why I said that is because my audio is an introduction to the video that tells you how to do what I'm doing. So let's click on that link. You notice it says edit description and history, replace audio, publish audio. What I want to do is publish the audio. It's active and I press this, watch this. There, see, that's my voice. So I'm going to click on Publish Audio. Hmm. Let's click that on. And where am I publishing it? I can publish it for the website. I can use the Save Settings, publish it for email. That means I get a link and that will take, uh, take you directly to the audio. Or I can publish the download link, and that's in the form of an MP3. Well, what I choose to do is publish it for the website. And so let's do that. I'm going to click on publish for website. And it gives me all these players, which is great. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the different ones. However, I am going to do a drag bar player. There's a lot of choices. And I chose to do the one with the affiliate to tell you about the audio acrobat free trial why because affiliate marketing is just so powerful and if you're not doing it please think about doing it and we'll talk about that in another session but the next step I chose that one and there it is now I can match this the colors that I want and I'm going to just play around with the colors in this case and because I love red oh see I don't have to know the code but I can choose it here but if you know this HTML you can just go ahead and pop in the numbers it changed it I'm going to now preview and see what it looks like Ta -da! there it is I like it so at this point I'm going to generate the code and remember, there are other options here. I could have it so it loops around all the time. I can have it where uh, attached to it will be an MP3 download. And I can have it so that it starts talking as soon as you get on the site. But I chose to keep that as no. Should I save my preferences? I can if I'm going to do this same color, uh, the same player each time. But I'm going to choose not to in this case. Generate HTML code. There it is. All I have to do is highlight it. I grab it. Now, I'm going to copy it. I could go up. Of course, you know this. And, and copy and do it from the browser. But in this case, you know, go to edit and then hit copy. And then uh, I'm going to paste it in my site. What I'm going to do now is go to a site. So I'm clicking on one of my sites. This is in version 2.7 of WordPress. Now, your screen is not showing the entire site, but on to the left is a place called Appearance. And in Appearance is something called Widgets. Remember, widgets are wonderful. So I'm clicking on the widget. You don't see it, but I'm clicking on it. Now, Let's see if I can extend this a little bit so you can view what I'm doing. Well, right here are options with widgets. And I can click on text. Ba -doo. Once I clicked on text add, it brought the widget, believe it or not, to the other side. I'm going to try to drag my screen over here so you can see it. There. Now, it says text right here at the bottom. Hmm. So how do I make that work for me? I'm going to click on Save Changes. Because with WordPress 7 and the widgets, first you bring it over, then you save the changes. Then I click on Edit. At this point, I can put a title in, and I can say 
add audio to your blog. Ta da! So I can say add audio to your blog, and believe it or not, I can actually paste. Click on paste because remember I had the code in there. I paste that code directly in that space. Now that's code and it's going to show up. Watch this. I hit done. Done deal. I hit save changes. And then I want to see if it's there. So I'm going to the top and you don't see it where it says view the site. And I'm going to see if it shows up. Well, you're seeing some parts of my sidebar. It should be... Oh, there it is. It says add audio to your blog. Does it work? Click on the play. Oh, it works. It works. I can click... I click click it off. Actually, I clicked on pause. If I wanted to click stop, I can click stop right there. And it works. I can add more things here. What I'm going to do is actually add the video link under here. Right there will be the video link. Actually, this is um, in two parts, and so the links to both of the videos will be directly underneath that player. And as Bugs Bunny would say, that's all, folks. I hope you enjoy this. Again, you know how to contact me. If you have any questions, email me. And I will be glad to help anywhere I can. Or you can always just post a comment. Your question is a form of a comment on this site, bloggingforboomers.com. And I'll be glad to answer them. Take care. And much continued success.